Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Revit MEP by BIM Technologies. So in this video you will learn how to add zones to a building space and how to manage the zones with help of different tools. Also you will learn how to create color schemes that means the schemas based on various properties of spaces and zones. Now let's begin with the HVAC zones, how you can add them and you can manage them in a particular space of building. Now here in this particular project you can see there is a building space with different spaces over here and which have been numbered and we are at the zero mechanical flow plan view over here. In the earlier video we have learned how to add space but in this video we will learn how to add HVAC zones and how to manage them in the building. So before adding the zones, we need to basically activate the system browser as we have discussed in the previous video. So I'm locking it over here along with the project browser. So you have the system browser here. And here in the system browser, there is option for zones. And you can see that by default, there are different zones are there but now we are going to add the zones over here so in the default space there are some spaces which are the default space we have to add the zones and already in this particular uh, model the zones are there so first of all let's see how we can add the zones and how we can see them in the building model before that let's do the visibility graphics and just so that the existing zones are displayed now the HVAC zones are basically created for air conditioning requirement or for the energy analysis or the analysis for HVAC in order to make the air conditioning more smoother and basically to manage the air conditioning across the spaces. So let's go to the view tab and then we have the visibility graphics tool here and here let's Make sure that the mechanical checkbox is selected and then we have this HVAC zones over here. So click on the HVAC zones and go to the interior fill and reference lines. So here you can see some of the zones are shown over here. So there is one zone over here which is, you can see this is, this is a space. And then if you click your mouse here, there's a zone named as zone 6. And these are the spaces over here. You can see 1, 2, 3. And if you want to see the properties of these zones and the spaces, you can click on the button over here, column settings, click on the column settings, you have this column settings dialog box and then you can have various properties like the area, volume, condition type, space type that we already have discussed. And for the mechanical, we can have the occupied area and so on. So here we are having some settings here and choose the OK option so you can see that the various properties will be seen along with the zones and the spaces here. Now, first of all, let us see what is the property of the zones. If you select the existing zone over here, which is, you can see HVAC zone 1 and it is the occupied area of that particular zone, which is 142.148 meters square and so on. So every zone would be having a service type, like for example, you can give a service type as I would say that let's say it is a constant volume dual duct bypass you can have default value click on the cooling information edit button then you can set the cooling set point cooling air temperature and so on for the zone before the analysis so these are certain settings that you do along with the zones now let's see how we can add the zones to add the zone go to the analyze tab and here in the spaces and zones, you have this option called zone. So the moment you click on the zone tool, the edit zone contextual tab is displayed. Now here you can click on the add space button and then select the space that you want to add. Now you have this three spaces that is as you are adding. So three spaces are added in the zone. So you can name the zone as let's say not zone. The moment you add it, you would see that 
this particular zone is seen in the system browser. So you have space number 12, 13 and 17 along with the areas and the different parameters that is involved with the zones. And if you want to remove certain spaces, for example, I want to remove this space. So these two spaces are now associated with the zones. Now you can finish editing the zones. Now with this, you can see that new zones have been added to the existing values. So if you want to rename any zone, select that zone and then you can rename it from the name edit box here. Now let's go with the color scheme that we were talking about. So in order for the color schemes, what we need to do is we go to the analyze and space and zones and color schemes. Now what are color schemes? Color schemes are schemas or maps which give different colors to different properties of spaces and zones. For example, if I want to take the category as space here, so I can have a color scheme, I can create a new color scheme and say, okay, I need value of airflow for this particular space, choose OK. And in this scheme, what I want to do is, I wanted to name the legend as airflow legend. So I can name it as airflow legend, as the title of the legend and name the value here as let's say specified airflow so you have the specified so this will give you so there is no airflow currently so you can go with let's say you can go with the different options like let's say you can go with the area let's say if i want to have area per person so I can, I'll be having, you know, different spaces like 2 meters square, 3 meters square. These are the color you can give the fill pattern. Let's say color for 2 meters square, I give a different color. Color for 3 meters square, I can give a different color. 10 meters square, I can different color with this. You can see and you can name, rename this as area per person. And you can have this as area area per person legend. So now you would see that once you apply this scheme into the space, go to the apply option. Now how do you apply it? Go to the properties of the view. That is we are in the zero met view over here. And then you can select the color scheme option. So here there would be a properties for color scheme. Go for the none option and then apply it. Now you can see that different colors have been assigned to the and then if you want the legend to be there go to the annotate and you have this legend option here color fill legend and you can click it here and you can see different colors have been assigned based on the so these are all 3 meters and 10 meters square area per person so this is how the color scheme if you want to change the scheme let's say if I want to have a different another scheme based on area so I can have this as area and here I can take a value of the area as so you have got different schemas for the area and the legend will change to area so you have different colors for different areas over here and you can change it for example if you select the legend and edit type and you can change the how it is displayed if you want to change the color then what you have to do is you have to change the scheme and give the color let's say if I want to, to have a different color and a different pattern let's say i want to have a brick box pattern i want to give a red color so you can see that that will be reflected here similarly different uh, color schemes can be made for different properties of the particular view so this will help the designer to for the planning about what are the various properties which are associated with the space with the help of color schema Hope you have enjoyed the video. In the next video, we will be talking about how to start with an energy analysis. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for the other videos.